Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video we are going to see about Rhinolith. This is a concise presentation for medical students. Rhino means nose and lith means stone. So Rhinolith is stone formation in the nasal cavity. It is an uncommon medical condition and it should not be confused with dried nasal mucus. What is the pathogenesis of Rhinolith? Rhinolith usually forms around the nucleus of a small exogenous foreign body blood clot or inspissated secretions by slow deposition of calcium and magnesium salts. Over a period of time, rhinolith grows into a large irregular mass which fills the nasal cavity. Then it may cause pressure necrosis of the septum or lateral wall of nose. What are the symptoms of rhinolith? Unilateral nasal obstruction and foul smelling discharge which is very often blood stained are the chief symptoms of rhinolith. Frank epistaxis and neuralgic pain may occur due to ulceration of the surrounding mucosa. On examination, rhinolith appears as grey-brown or greenish-black mass with irregular surface and stony hard feel that is seen in the nasal cavity between the septum and turbinates. It is often brittle and a portion of it may break off while manipulating. Sometimes it is surrounded by granulations. On probing, probe can be passed around all its corners. This picture shows an X-ray of a rhinolith. Now how do you treat a case of rhinolith? Rhinoliths are removed under general anesthesia. Most of them can be removed through anterior nares. Small rhinoliths can be removed by foreign body hook. Large, large rhinoliths can be crushed into pieces by Luke's forceps and then removed. Sometimes Moore's lateral rhinotomy approach is needed in cases of hard and irregular rhinoliths. Thank you.